Hey, got Vox here. We got probably the best team of the week all year. I would say definitely, not probably. Got the best team of the year all year. So let's try all the top cards. I put them, I bought them all, put them on the roster here. Here's Derrick Henry. I decided to put a zone run on him to get the spin threshold. And as you'll see, uh, it, it's kind of important. And Well, as you know. I mean, you'll, you'll see in the video too. But your spin threshold is very important. 93 speed on him. Uh, George Kittle, I got him at 92 speed for a tight end. Maybe he gets a power up, and then he get like a couple extra speed if he gets sprinter and the power up to the 94 speed tight end. I mean that's crazy. There's compared to Shannon Sharp, who's also pretty insane on his own right. But 6'4", 96 spec catch means he's also a, a a red zone threat. Here is Kyle Fuller, 94 speed, another person who probably needs a power up to really make him into a top end corner. Get his speed up to like 96, 97 with tier three sprinter. Um, then he's up there with like the Dion, the Daryl Greens for effectiveness. Zone coverage a little low, but uh, I've seen a lot of guys miss, miss even miss, guys miss even with high zone coverage. So whatever. And the big money maker, the big Kahuna, of the limited time, Amari Cooper. Now without the power up, I think he's a solid receiver. Uh, right up there with Chad Johnson, a little bit better because he's more well rounded than Chad Johnson. He actually can run block, whereas Chad can do none of that. Otherwise, in the receiving game, base card versus base card is almost identical. I think you can probably swap one out for the other and be the same. So I have the base card here. Um, I, we're gonna do this gameplay. Then at the end, I got some extra clips of uh, the other cards from another couple games that I played that I'll I'll show it to you. Mainly Amari Cooper focused for some of his receptions, um, or at least targets. Uh, so here it is first play of the game and I spun out and hit left trigger I didn't hit left trigger quick enough so that one might be on me uh, but my kick team no matter what I do even though I'm kicking it I have kick return right kicking left you can still go all the way to the right side of the field and go up the field uh, so let's try something similar unfortunately he gets a lot of sheds I didn't get any sheds on my return so maybe he just got a better return team so I'm down 7-0 Henry right there nice spin off nice fall forward so we're trying we're, get, we're, we're going back to the deuce close, Madden 17, because this is basically Madden 17 2.0 is what we have with 19. Um, he pressed his cover 3, and I went Tyree Kill on a straight streak, and his DN couldn't get back far enough. See how close that was? I mean, it's kind of embarrassing that you could just press your guys, and there's no punishment for it. Uh, as we get Jadavian Clowney screeching in there for the sack with a four-man rush. So we are, we're, we're looking for a defensive scheme currently. Uh, I'm a little, I don't know, broken up by my defensive scheme. It kind of sucks right now. Um, I'm not... All right, let's let's look at that right there. God dang, Deion Sanders. One on one, I ended up looking at Jerry Rice's speed. He had 98 speed Jerry Rice because he's got a uh, mostly Niners theme team. He's got a lot of Niners, but he's got other ones. There he is throwing into coverage again, not getting uh, punished at all. So two right into coverage. One a spec catch over the best goddamn corner in the game. The other one just getting knocked down harmlessly as a win for the offense. There he is, fourth and 14. So he'll kick the field goal, go up 10-7. So. Uh, game not going my way, and it feels like this happens so much. Like, it just it just doesn't go my way uh, that much anymore in Madden. Like, it seems like the RNG is frequently against me. Like, for every one game that I feel like I'm getting decent RNG, like right there, what the heck is that? I had two stats with Tyree Kill on Dion, and his Dion's making plays, of course. Mine's not. Cooper that just went off his helmet. That was awesome. Um, threw it at him, but uh, I, I guess he was he was covered in one on one. And as we know, one on ones with with straight down the field. You know, the the cornerback is super overpowered to be able to knock them out. Oh, wait, what? That doesn't happen for me, but in my opponents, it just gets knocked down harmlessly? Oh, no, that's cool. This is, this is hashtag complaint central today. I don't know, man. Just, I don't know whether my pack odds, my RNG in the field, just doesn't feel too inclined. Look at that. Look at the, By the way, look at that Cooper. Look at that freaking Cooper uh, and, and his run blocking. That is absolutely phenomenal, being able to do that. There we got Kittle on the corner, and Baker Mayfield just misses the pass. This was my last game with Mayfield, by the way. I played two with him, and enough of those misses kind of frustrated me. Kittle on the drop, so Kittle, even though he's got those high end, that high end spec catch, still drops it. Of course, when my opponents uh, are, are swatting it, but I'm sure if it was going against me, he'd, he'd catch those perfectly fine. So he's user blitzing me. Something I might need to add to my squad. Kittle, I will say about Kittle, uh, fast like him. A drag's not that good because he doesn't have very good agility, he doesn't have very good spin, so he doesn't move up field. Like, see how slow and how hard that was for me to move up field? Even even doing the same cuts that I used to get quick up field with like wide receivers, I think his low agility really harms his ability to run drag. So while Kittle is great in a lot of things, he's not great at run blocking and not great at racking the ball with like agility. They had a nice little fade to the corner there against a, a base aligned cover too, so he was able to get like an outside release there. Check down to the running back because I thought he was going to the flat and he decided to go across the middle on an angle route. Ten seconds left in the first half. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? What's he going to do when he comes for you? 
Throws it, catches it actually, in coverage. But luckily that played against him. He didn't have any timeouts, so he couldn't kick a field goal. Couldn't get his points. That's nice. We run streaks, and Baker Mayfield, Kamari Cooper, can't connect. Yeah, needless to say, I'm very salty. This constantly is happening for me. Missing passes, not doing that. Cooper, he looked like a shot at a candle. I, I like how, like, in the NFL, I, I think it's really realistic. When guys are sprinting, it's really hard for them to turn. I really appreciate that. There's Kill again with a bad transition upfield, showing off more of his poor agility. Man, I, I don't know. I, just complaint central. There we are, Baker overthrowing that high point. We had a step or two with Kittle, uh, but we couldn't complete it. So we'll tie up the game 13-13 with 2.44 left in the first, or sorry, third quarter. The first third quarter, right? Rather than the second third quarter, which would be the fourth quarter. Uh, so here we are. Wide formation, running uh, edge routes. Ooh, does a good route to beat cover four, unfortunately. So he converts that first down. Jadavian Clowney with his out my way. Showing up on the field and stopping the run. A lot of tosses, a lot of runs. He doesn't feel like he can throw it against me. So he's, he's trying to toss it, trying to get down the field that way. Third and 15, has to toss it. It has to toss it, and the five-man rush gets home. The old dog blitz. Henry up the middle, of course. It's just beautiful. Wham is still powerful. Run Wham a lot, guys, if you can. We try to draw it, but he blitzes a lot. He blitzes a lot again. Under pressure, luckily we are snipers and snipe to Cooper. Nice little catch, fall down there. Uh, we'll throw out to the, the flats quick because he wants to. There's the spin. That spin right there, tier A spin for the win. Beautiful into the end zone. So we are now up by seven points. Hopefully we don't get unlucky in this drive and lose it. So overall, I mean, these cards play well, but like, I don't know. It, it, it's tough because some of them play, ooh, nice spin by his guys. Like, a lot of it is based off speed, right? So Cooper, once if you could get Cooper's power up, I think it's definitely worth it. Like, Cooper, once you get the sprinter, once you get uh, everything on him, then he's wonderful with the power up. Where I think the base card, I think the base card isn't worth his outrageous price. I think I got him for like 1.39. I'm assuming he's going similar to that. He's a nice little user with Miles Jack. And, and that's where I discover this controller is broken too. So I've broken three controllers, no, four controllers in the last few months. And so here we are just winding down, the, winding down not months, but last, last year or so. Four controls. And one I bought a month ago that's already broken. I don't know if I can send that into the uh, manufacturer. Third and eight, we decided to run it, play smart. We'll kick it to him. He's got 141, so I guess he technically has enough time. But I'm not that fearful of his offense, so I just picked the ball. Um, and uh, Slay, nice work against the cover four. One on one, so we take it. That ends up making him quit the game. So yeah, yeah. Broken controllers, still kind of hard, a little, little harder to run the ball when, when he won't go in the, in the spot you want. So here's a couple other plays that I wanted to show off. There's Amari Cooper doing Amari Cooper top end things, like the spec catch that you totally expect them to. Here we are going deep, so deep, and it's a spec catch city. Nope, knocked out, swatted. Nice, looks like he got good position on Cooper there to swat it. Another blitz. Madden is a blitz heavy meta right now. Cooper on the rack. He's a beautiful, beautiful rack guy. Like that spin right there, glorious. Tier A spin. I'd say Amari's the man. There, high point. Not a high point specialist, even though he's pretty decent spec catch. Um, got, it, got it knocked down. Over the middle, Cooper takes a hit, doesn't fumble, hangs on pretty well. Here we are on defense. He tries to throw like a cover three bomb, but look at Fuller completely catch up and pick it over his head. Nice work, Fuller. That's why we put you in the house, Fuller House joke inserted here. Uh, but yeah, nice return to speed, outrunning them all. He thinks I'm going to uh, spin. I just try to run past them all pretty nice. So here I go, going up again to Cooper. High point to the end zone. Uh, no good there either. So uh, that's it for the video. Hopefully you guys like the extra clips at the end. Thanks for watching. Call to action. I'll see you tomorrow.